I've already said that ropes and knots have been used for thousands of years for a multitude of purposes. And uh, I want to say I don't know everything about ro ropes and knots, but I have used them throughout my lifetime in a lot of different applications from uh, mountaineering and rock climbing, climbing on Mount McKinley and Yosemite Valley in California and many other places, uh, to dog mushing, racing sled dogs, to uh, canoe tripping, uh, tying boats and canoes on trailers, and on and on it goes. I use some for safety, some just to uh, hold things together. Sometimes I need, uh, for some reason, a longer rope than just one section that I have. And if I need 180 feet and I've got two 100 feet rope, foot ropes, I just tie those together with a certain knot. So it's good to get into knots and you know what your application is, then uh, a lot of these knots will apply to many different situations. So I think it's time to get on with it and uh, you'll figure out your application. One thing I'd like to do before we go on any further, I want to talk a little bit about cutting and uh, putting ends on a rope, whipping the ends or melting them. First of all, I see here a couple of kern mantle type ropes, and I've been saying that the center of the rope was the core that holds the weight. Here we have a sheath that's slipping away from the end, and we didn't, or it's not my rope, but I, so I'm gonna claim innocence here, but I wouldn't be innocent if I didn't share with you what needs to be done here. But we should either whip, take a uh, light cord and with many wraps and tie a special knot there to protect the end so it doesn't unravel, or we need to melt it. So what I would do, I have here some electrician's tape and you could use uh, just about any kind of just good tape, although electricians is very good. And I'm gonna come back from the end here because I don't wanna mess with that end. And I'm gonna wrap about three tight wraps with the tape. Cut that off. and make sure that's fastened down well. Then I would hope to have a butcher block or just a two by four or a trunk of a tree that I would set this on. I'm not gonna cut it here. But I would take a nice sharp knife, give a little bit like a quarter inch of the rope sticking out away from the tape and I'd cut that off. Well, actually I will. I'll just do it. Cut that off nice and straight. The part I'm not going to do is melt it, but I would take a nice, uh, you know, like a one pound propane torch and I would just start heating that. You don't want a huge flame, but you want a nice small flame and then stop it and then have a something that's cold and wet. I use my finger with a little spit on it I'll quickly tap around it and you get a nice hard end to that that won't unravel or that won't ravel. You need to do that. Otherwise, slowly you get a creeping going on with any of these ropes. If you don't whip or melt the ends, you're going to have a, you're going to lose rope. That's all that's to it.